I'm David Rose. Tonight, the fight is on to save a popular mountain bike park. Plans to build a new regional jail on the property in the Des Moines SeaTac area could put the brakes on the park, which has been around for more than 12 years. But those who want to save it say the park and jail can coexist if everyone involved thinks green. James Lynch has the story you'll see tonight only on Q13 Fox News. On a vast wooded area that sat empty for years, a mountain biking trail was built. That was 12 years ago. Since then, those who love the park, like Tony Lombardo, protect it with great passion. When I started riding, I weighed about 260 pounds, and last year, at the height of my racing success, was at 190 pounds. And honestly, it's changed my whole life as far as my health and fitness and well-being. But now, the future of the park is threatened. This sign announces plans to build a new regional jail for seven cities in South King County for misdemeanor crimes. That could put an end to these races, but the man who built and maintains the trails sees what he calls a green opportunity where everyone wins. What we're trying to do is take a, what I call a negative, which is a jail, okay, and, and make a positive out of it and make a green space. So the whole, this local community, you know, from this whole south end of Seattle has a place to come and, you know, run, ride their bike, hike. Wick wants this area to be formally designated a permanent green space. City leaders from SeaTac and Des Moines were here today on their bikes to take a look. Not counting the land on which the jail will sit, there are 65 usable acres here in the park and a lot of interest in maintaining these trails. But it will take a lot of cooperation. City of SeaTac owns a portion of it, Department of Transportation owns a part, part of it, Port of Seattle owns a part of it, and the City of Des Moines owns a part of it. We could work with them, see if we can't allow these to continue in some fashion. Um, I think that would be a good thing for the community. Are you optimistic? I'm optimistic, yeah, I think we can work something out. I'm really going to be heartbroken if they take it away from us. Cyclists like Cindy Freed hope so. Losing this park, she says, is unthinkable. There's a lot of trails here. I mean, you could be out here for hours riding around, and, uh, and it's safe. In SeaTac, James Lynch, Q13, Fox News. The Des Moines City Council will take a final vote on the new jail July 9th. Passage is almost certain. Then everyone involved will step up their efforts to save that park.